Hi. So I decided to do another lip tar video because it was requested by a lot of people to see what they actually look like on the lips. So what I'm going to do is start with the white and just go one by one so you can see how it goes on, what it looks like on, and then I'll include a picture to so you can see what it looks like in a photograph as well. So here we go, starting with the white. And again, a little goes a very, very, very long way. I think when it comes to like the white, the black, even maybe even the orange, but mainly the white and black, I don't think they're meant to be worn completely solo. I think they're meant to either add, yeah, more like add white or black to any particular lip color you're going for. So, or either tint it, but you only need a tiny, tiny bit. And this is, again, the white one, which is called Feathered. All right. So there you have the white. It looks extremely ridiculous. Well, <laughs> it just looks really funny. Moving on, this is the orange, which is called Safety Orange, appropriately named. Well, there you have it. That is the orange. So moving on again, this is Uber, which is the brown one. So here it is up close. I have a pimple, I know. Um, it's very gross, don't look. And then here is the next, I'd say closest to like neutral color. This is Melange. It's really pretty. I like it. This is probably my favorite to use on other people. I've mixed it up with different lipsticks or actually just put it straight on. So again, this is Melange. And now I'm going to go with Pageant, which is Probably the hottest, thickest color of the bunch, which is just a good pink. Everybody needs a good, bold pink lip color in their life. So there's the pink. This one's called Catricia. I've worn it with pageant mixed together and it's really pretty. And last but not least, the black one, which is called Tard. I would wear this out 
I don't know where, but I would do it. It's just straight black. And again, I just want to go over how amazing lip tars are. You only need the tiny, tiny, tiniest amount and a little really goes a long way. It is not sticky. It's not super thick. Um, it has a really good consistency, I think. I like really thick glosses, like honey thick glosses, but this is nowhere near honey thick. It moves... It moves very well, but it's not like water on your lips either. It's not thin, it's not thick, it's just right in my opinion. So yeah, I hope this helped and I hope you try out at least one. Get the hot pink one or the purple one. Or stay safe and go neutral because it's really it's a really really nice lip product I really like it and I enjoy using it on my clients as well so I like it try it out okay hope it helps thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing bye